It's Thursday, April 5th, 2012. I'm Bridget Carey on CNET.com, and it's time to get loaded. Google has revealed more about its Project Glass. It's an experiment to deliver smart glasses that would pop up data in your field of vision. To get input on the idea, Google made a video about what the technology has the potential to do. It shows a user seeing an incoming message from a friend pop up, or if there's a problem on your commute, then directions for an alternate route are displayed. The glasses could check the user into a location and share it on a social network. It might even take photos and share one's point of view with a video chat. Of course, what the video didn't show are the other uses companies would like for glasses like this, like having pop-up ads or coupons when you pass by a location. Every year, the Consumerist runs an online voting competition for the worst company in America, and they do it in the style of a March Madness basketball bracket. And this year, Electronic Arts won the Golden Poo for getting the most votes as the worst company in 2012, beating out Bank of America in the final round. In a year where people were occupying Wall Street, how did a video game maker beat out a bank for the title? Well, that's because the gaming world is feeling nickel and dimed. The frequent accusation is EA will deliberately hold back game content and sell an inferior game at the high price of $60 and later charge more fees for players to download additional content that makes the game better. The next generation of the HTC Evo has arrived. Sprint has unveiled the HTC Evo 4G LTE. It's a slightly redesigned model of the HTC One X and will come out in the second quarter for $200. Pre-orders start May 7th. The first HTC Evo 4G came out two years ago, but back then it ran on a 4G WiMAX network. It also was one of the first phones to have a larger screen and high-end processor. Now this new Evo will be able to tap into Sprint's faster LTE 4G network, but there's been no word on exactly when that will go live. And this phone will be able to pick up high-definition voice quality sound, but that feature won't be available until the end of the year. Rocker Neil Young is working on creating his own audio format, something that would be a higher quality than an MP3 file. Young has been vocal about his dissatisfaction with the compressed quality of MP3s, and Rolling Stone has discovered Young filed a series of trademark names for a new high-definition audio format. Some of those names include Earth Storage, Storage Shed, and SQS, which is Studio Quality Sound. Young's publicist said the musician isn't ready, though, to talk publicly about the project. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Bridget Carey for CNET.com and you just been loaded.